after hearing um, Patty make her comments and then hearing comments from several of you, I think you don't quite get it, how it sort of smells of impropriety. And you're saying, well, look, everyone's so generous all of a sudden. But just to make it clear, if, a, if I ran a business in Tredifrin and a supervisor came to me, I know who the supervisors are. And if they said, look, we're not raising taxes um, to uh, make the fire departments whole, we're not raising taxes, but we need to go out there and collect money, um, even though you may have meant it generously and not acting as a supervisor, I know you're a supervisor. You come to my business. You pick who are on the zoning. You impact and make decisions that can seriously impact my business. I'd be a little bit nervous not supporting that. Whether your intentions were straightforward or not, it still smacks of impropriety and it really does look questionable and I think that's why a lot of the citizens are concerned, even though you may have been very um, straightforward and we're not trying to act as supervisors when you did this, um, it, it doesn't look right and I just ask you to be very careful in how you act. And then at the end, if you had truly been acting as private citizens, why was there such a grandstanding moment at a board of supervisor meeting to present the cardboard check? If, you, if I was acting as a private citizen, I would have given the money to the fire departments as a private citizen and said, look, the generosity of the community is such that we did this and not do a, I'm, I'm sorry, it looked like a grandstanding moment at a board of supervisor meeting and you were the board of supervisors standing up and saying that. That's, that's how it looks, whether it was intended that way or not. That's how it came no, off. No more, in my view, no more so than, than uh, what appears to be questionable motivations to raise to raise this again all these months later as for you know why we let me let me finish as as to why we used the uh, that the opportunity uh, to present the cardboard check that night frankly um, one of the things that uh, we're able to do up here as supervisors is ex exercise our rights to utilize the bully pulpit to tell folks good news and that's what we did so that's why so we did it. you acting as supervisors, but then you can act right. as supervisors yeah. Yeah, to present it. So, so that's what I'm saying. So you just have to be careful. That's and I also question your, your comment on, you know, why a number of citizens, I've heard comments from Ms. Benson and now you, so I, again, I question the motivations. It's one of the reasons, you know, I, I didn't respond directly uh, to Ms. Benson because I make it a practice not to respond uh, as a personal matter as, as to, uh, to blogs. That's just my own my own view on the matter, you know, I, I frankly, I, my nickname for Ms. Benson's, Benson's blog personally is Community Matters for Democratic uh, Party Partisans, that, but that's just what I, how I feel about that particular blog and, and what, uh, what that blog is utilized for, for all intents and purposes and those who comment on it. So I'll just leave it at that. I have no personal reason, I'm not getting any gain out of this, I just want Tredifferin to be improved and to grow and develop appropriately and for our supervisors not to be laughed at by other communities in the area. So I'm not, I, I think, think I think, I think community, I think surrounding municipalities, ma'am, with, with, with respectfully, that knew of the actions that we took, the difficult decisions that we made as a part of the, the budget last year. Um, and still were able to adopt a budget uh, with no tax increase, made the hard decision to first to cut our costs as opposed to, first, uh, as, as opposed to seeking revenue increases through increased taxation, while at the same time finding a way to support our fire companies was a good news story all around for our community, for the fire companies, for our citizens. Uh, we have a plan in place to continue to work uh, with the fire companies uh, with respect to next year, next year's budget, and uh, again, I'll, um, um, I'm a little disappointed and, and question the motivations why all these months later, um, a couple of individuals would stand up now and, and begin to question that. The timing is just interesting. I have no ulterior motive. I just heard Patty and I heard your responses, and my personal opinion was you didn't quite get how it appeared, and I just want you to come off looking as you meant it to appear. Uh, Ms. Clark, I, the most I, I, hold on just a second, Paul. I, um, I, I mean, w what we have here in this, this room is essentially a, like a town hall meeting in, in New England, right? I mean, 
people can come in here who are citizens in this community and they can, they can say uh, whatever they want on particular township issues. Um, we routinely have the fire companies coming up to the microphone and talking about their fundraising. Um, one of our sitting board members uh, for many years, uh, almost every meeting, uh, solicited on television uh, contributions to the fire company. I mean, he was a supervisor, he was a police officer in our township. I don't know whether he was a volunteer firefighter, but it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, we routinely have um, uh, companies who come in here. I think uh, there are a couple of major employers in the township who come in and give wonderful contributions for our community day, for uh, our concert series, for, um, for fireworks this year. Um, and, and they come in here and we celebrate that. Um, the community issue at the time during that budget process was framed as um, fireworks versus fire companies. It was framed as a, a cut to um, the fire service at a time when they couldn't afford that. Um, so the issue was absolutely uh, teed up. People were talking about it. Um, Lori's here. She, I think, was the creator of an online petition. I know I saw that a couple of times. So there was lots of public discussion of this very matter. And the presentation of a cardboard check, as it was, with a pretty significant figure from private citizens, myself included, um, to the fire companies, uh, was a celebration. You, you might call it, um, uh, I don't know, uh, you, you might, I don't, in fact, I don't know what words you called it, but, but one could call it um, a celebration of a good thing happening. It may not be exactly what the fire companies wanted or what certain citizens wanted. It may not be exactly what members of this board up here wanted, but it was a positive thing. Um, it is money in the bank for the fire companies. Uh, Ms. Benson's insinuations notwithstanding, there is nothing untoward going on. Uh, these monies were not given with any sort of a string attached. I'm sure the fire companies wouldn't have accepted them if there was some sort of a string attached. And I, for one, know, because I know the members of this board, uh, nobody on behalf uh, of them or the board members themselves made any sort of a solicitation saying there was some kind of a string attached. We're members of this community, and we're actually in here every night in this, well, a couple of nights a month at least. Um, we're in here, and we are on top of these issues, as are the people like uh, members of the fire companies when they come to these meetings. So we get focused on them. We get focused on them. We want to find solutions for them. You say that that is um, wrong, that we shouldn't participate in private solutions. I say I'm a private citizen. You, you may call that something that smells bad, something we have to be cautious about. I, I say I don't surrender my rights as a private citizen when I come up here on the Board of Supervisors. And when I see a community problem and I think there is another way to solve it, um, using another way and a creative way and a generous way to solve it seems to me is not a bad idea. I have one comment I'd like to make. The most successful fundraiser in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is Governor Rendell. And uh, I'm a Republican. I have a right to be. Patty's a Democrat. She has a right to be. And uh, we work for the common good. And we believe in raising the money for the fire companies, for the library. Public-private cooperation means a lot. Taxpayers are tired of paying higher taxes. They're tired of it. And we need to do as a township, be more efficient, more effective in the services we deliver. And the gentleman over there to my left, certainly are great. They do a great job for the citizens of two different townships. Thank you. Oh, no. Mr. Lamina, I think you owe the Democrats of this township an apology. If you don't